Alrighty guys, what's going on? So, you guys have probably just watched the video where I showed you guys those rubs. I'm still shocked at how many there are over there. And also, I went back in there this evening, still didn't see anything, but I did find another rub that is really fresh looking at least, uh, I think it was at least this week. So, I don't know if they're getting aggressive again or if they're staying aggressive or what. But the bucks seem to be still moving around quite a bit so i don't know so anyway what this video is going to be is me making worms again there's the different types of worms this one here is kind of a white color this one here is kind of a red and this one here is kind of a green and then in here i got all that and then if you look down there the thing looks purple i don't know why it does that but there's the mold that i use this is an 8 inch paddle tail worm. Yeah. So that's what I use for these worms. And sometimes, if you guys look right here, you see how there's that little thing right there. What I usually do sometimes is I'll take a knife like this right here and I'll cut it right there, right along that little end in, in line right there to make it uh, basically, it'll make it just like a little finesse worm or. Uh, that's just a straight tail worm, you know, something that would work really good on a drop shot or a wacky worm uh, rig, or uh, it'd probably work really well on one of those, what is it called, uh, uh, Nico rig, where you got the nail weight in the head. I don't use Nico rigs, I think they're just kind of a waste of time, it takes too long to rig them. You lose your bait, you lose your weight, you lose a bunch of stuff, it just, it just takes too long to rig them up and stuff. So I don't use them. I don't use wacky rigs that much either. But these type of worms would be perfect for those. They got good stretch to them. This one here I just molded. And this one here was the first one. This red. And then this one here is kind of a green color. Over here in the shop, just mold, molding worms. There's the heater thing that I use. Oh yeah. Well that melted really quick, didn't it? Let me throw my glove on. Hard putting a glove on one handed. Alrighty. So, everybody who, uh, there are some people, uh, I think it was the last time I made one of these videos. Uh, of me sitting in here with my little brother making worms. Somebody, actually I think there was two people who was like, better hope you got it uh, ventilated and stuff. We got it plenty ventilated. We got this, this fan thing here going, and then we got that fan there out the window going. It's plenty ventilated. You can't even smell the stuff really unless you're like opening the lid up. You can't hardly smell it. You know, if you go over here, I don't smell it. I don't smell it anymore. You know, you got that, that oven fan and then that box fan in front of an open window. It's taking care of it, so you guys don't have to worry about that. There's what it's looking like. Looking pretty good. Looks like it's ready to be poured. So I'm going to put my glove back on. I don't know why I took it off. I'm going to set this camera down right here. Hopefully you guys can see me a little bit. I don't know if you can. Hopefully you can. I'll pick the camera back up. I just gotta get my glove on because this the handle the handle on this pot thing gets pretty warm. Just like that. Close it, set it back up there, put the lid back on it, and then I'm going to grab some more plastic. This here is a bunch of green pumpkin colored stuff, and this bag here is a bunch of regular pumpkin colored stuff. Then this bag here's got a oh, this bag here's got a bunch of miscellaneous colors and stuff. I think I'm just going to dump this one in here. I'll set this up. Hopefully you guys can see me. I think you guys can. 
open this thing here up, get all the pieces. I got all the plastic. Here's what it all is. Got some black and blue, got some green pumpkin, got some watermelon red, got some uh, uh, red shad, some black, some purple, some black and purple mix. So we'll uh, take this glove off again, take the lid off, pick the camera back up, just like that, and dump them in there just like that. And uh, let's see, I don't, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more in there of something. Uh, let's throw some green pumpkin stuff in there. Alright, you got some green pumpkin. Also got some green pumpkin blue flake in here. Got some watermelon red. Got all kinds of colors in here. We'll just toss them in there. Here is a uh, right there is a chunk of Senko and a lizard leg it looks like and then here's a little watermelon colored fluke I think that's that looks pretty good that looks like it'll make a worm usually what I'll do is I'll put enough plastic in there to at least make one worm or two possibly two um, usually about one and a half maybe um, just to where make sure you always put the lid on it because it'll melt quicker if you put the lid on it I usually just put enough plastic in there for one to two uh, worms that uh, excuse me that way you don't uh, you don't have like four different uh, you don't have four worm worth of colors wait four worms worth of plastic in one thing that you're you're using up all the time you're using that same color all the time I like it to where I can dump one worm in there one make another worm and then change color if I want to like this one here this one here was the first one with the red I dumped it out it was the last of the red put the green in there got all the green out put the white in there this white one's kinda got some blue black and green in it but yeah so here's the, uh, the worm right here now it does not take very long to set at all. It usually takes about maybe three to four minutes. I mean, if you want it to be like 100% precisely exact set, you can set it in there for like five to six, seven minutes. I usually set it in there until it's, you know, not soft and not, uh, you know, liquidy. Well, that's a pretty cool color. I like the purple. It's got some purple streaks in it. It's got some chartreuse down on the tail. It's got some purple. I like that color. I wonder where the purple came from, though. I didn't put no purple worms in there, but that's a really cool color. That flakes in there really give it some flash. I'll show you. There's the differences from the red, the green, white, then this kind of a mixed color. So you might see this little flaps right here those I will tray uh, trim up with my knife I can't do it right now because I can't do it uh, one-handed but those just little things I like that I'll, I'll trim it up and then if I want to I can you know I can make it a straight tail worms uh, just like a normal little straight tail worm that there's starting to melt usually when you start seeing it sink down you uh, you'll know that it's starting to melt so yeah now this thing here is, uh, I don't know, I, th I think that's the brand Proctic or Proctor or Silix. I don't know if that's the brand or what, but it's just a hot plate type thing. Now I turn it on high because that's the highest it'll go, and it's not exactly the best thing to use, um, but it does work and it does melt the plastic. But 
if you're doing it outside, I learned that really quickly. The first time I ever did it, I was outside and um, it was cold and the, the plastic was hardening up before I could pour it into the mold. That's how cold it was. Um, so that's when I brought it in here in the shop to where there's a wood stove over there. So I'm keeping it warm enough to where it's not, uh, it's not too warm, but it's still warm enough to where it ain't solid, you know, when you're pouring it. And on high, see it says the power dot, so it's getting hotter again. So yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to do. This little short video, not really short, but you know what I mean. Uh, video. I just want to tell you guys exactly what I do and how I do it. This is just me. You guys can do it whatever way you want to do it. Um, you know, if you go on eBay uh, and just put in like worm molds, you'll see these these type of worm molds. Um, I'm going to buy some soon. I actually, in my last video uh, of me talking, I said that I was going to buy a, a Huddleston and some worm molds and stuff. Well, that was before I talked to my mom, and my mom, she said that she does not want me buying anything on eBay, at least until uh, after Christmas, that way, uh, you know, because cause a lot of my Christmas stuff was is on eBay, so she don't want me to actually see all the stuff that she bought for me on Christmas, or for Christmas, so I'm definitely going to buy it, because, you know, once I save it up past Christmas, I'll be able to buy all that stuff. And I got to also thinking a lot of stuff's going to be, a lot of packages are going to be being circling around in the mail because it's getting closer to Christmas. It's like six or seven days now. There's going to be a lot of packages in the mail and it's, it'll be really easy for mine to get either lost or be really late. So I think I'm just going to wait after Christmas and I think it'll be better for me in the long run. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, Make sure you smash the like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. See you later.